So it's Jamie Baker Orr at Keller Williams Performance today, and we are interviewing Melissa. I would say Collective is the name of your company. I went in and looked at your website, and I know Sabrina visits it often and bought me my birthday present there. Thank you. I, we kind of looked online, to see what you had available. I love the little gnomes. I'm like, oh my God, I got to get those for my grandkids. So tell us a little bit about your business and how you got started. So I started, um, originally I was in banking for gosh, almost 12 years. And when you run a seven day a week branch, um, and there's more than one location after a while, you're like, this is not who I wanted to be when I grew up. Um, I have a degree in hotel and restaurant administration. So hospitality's always kind of been my jam and working with people. Um, but banking wasn't doing it anymore. We have one kiddo and he's growing up so quickly. Um, and so I decided I needed to make a change. Um, so I started the first mobile boutique in Southern Colorado called Sweet Peas. Um, oh, and so that's how I got started. Um, I didn't know anything really about how to run a retail boutique or anything like that. Um, I had some great mentors that I was able to reach out to and they guided me down the road. Um, I used to park a lot here on the Riverwalk because our location is on the Riverwalk. Um, I used to park a lot with Harp um, and in doing so met the girls that run, ran Belitza and we became really good friends, um, Katie and Felicia Carleo. And people always thought our businesses were related somehow. And so one day we thought, well, gosh, they should be. And that's how we got to the term collective. Um, it, took their business of Belitza and my business of Sweet Peas and combined them, um, which was a great partnership. Um, we unfortunately had a flood several years ago in our old location, which was really a blessing in disguise. We were able to move down a few spaces and in doing so gained a lot of square footage. And so we were able to teach classes now. So um, I've seen your team members take classes here. So I appreciate that. Um, but we do offer classes for people to learn how to do a new um, hobby um, and decide they like it or hate it before they have to invest in all the equipment it takes to do those items. Right. Um, you don't want to I have like a hobby lobby in my basement at this point because I have so many crafts that I started and then thought, well, I wasn't really into that and moved on to that. <laughs> yeah, I bought all this stuff and you're like, yeah, I'll never use that again. I should give it away. Yeah. yeah. And so thank goodness um, the girls uh, made some life changes last year. So I took over the store and so, um, this month was our one year to be just under me as the owner of Collective, and it's been so much fun. Um, so Congratulations. Very um, and keep it going. Yeah, and the first year is always the hardest, I think, because you're just trying to figure out the swing of things and what's going to work and what's not going to work. So you mentioned um, creative stuff. So give us some ideas. I know we can make signs down there. Um, I saw the little gnome. So they, that's something they can look this at on your website. This is little gnome right here. This is our bunny gnome. Um, and you can buy this kit online. So I hand make all the items and put it together in a kit. So I make it pretty painless for you to do it at home. It does come with instructions. Um, the ears even have an online tutorial just because we don't want you to get it wrong when you're making it because that's no fun if he doesn't turn out super cute. But we offer several of those. Um, due to the current situation that we're in, a lot of people reach out and ask for kids craft, which we don't typically teach here in the store, but I've been trying to post a couple every week. Um, and so last week we did um, pipe cleaner, lavender, oh, and just whatever cute. container you have handy. Um, and so that's been fun and something different for me. Um, I, I have a son and he's 16, so crafts aren't really his jam. And so <laughs> um, be able to reach out and teach something to little kids. And those are kits that are available. We sell um, just like if you can't find the pipe cleaners. Um, we even sell, this is 20 of them for two bucks and you can order it through our wow. Instagram page or our, um, website. Um, and then I do deliveries twice a week and to the community right now, since the store can't be open. Oh, that's great. So which, yeah. um, so let's say somebody did want to order a couple of craft ideas from you. Where could they see those? It sounds like Instagram is one of your um, bigger pages. And then what days are you delivering? So I try to deliver on Saturdays and Wednesday. It's free if you live in town. It's $3 if you live in Pueblo West or the county. Um, and the Instagram's the easiest way to find all um, of the items. And then you just would direct message me and let me know. I send you an invoice so it's all contact 
contactless Free. interaction at this point. So you can pay that invoice online and then I'll drive it to your house. I leave it on your front door. Um, I come back to the car and then text you to let you know it's been delivered. I don't even ring the bell because kiddos or dogs or whatever. So right. um, we try to make it really painless and avoid that interaction. So no one has to be scared about getting that delivery. Yeah, that's really great. That's a great idea. It's a de definitely different times than what it was before. So, um, so <laughs> yeah. then you even have still birthday things. I mean, if you wanted to pick up an anniversary gift or something like that, they can go online and take a look. Absolutely. Um, even if you have questions, I had a gentleman reach out yesterday. Um, I think it was must have been his wife's birthday and wanted to know about what earrings were available. Um, and it may not be something I can show you online, but I always have pictures on my phone and I'm happy to shoot them over and then I'll let the client select from there. That's great. Yes, That's amazing. So keys and jams and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, great. It looks like a good time. I'm loving all the stuff in the background. I'm like, oh, I could put that in my house. Can I decorate those pillows? So yeah. I always think, oh, I, I want to do it. I just don't have enough time. So now it seems like I have a little more time than I did before. Yeah, great. So your big why is basically you want it. It sounds like you just needed a change in your life and you wanted to be maybe at home with your family a little bit more. And, and so that's been a year or that's been a couple years because you had sweet peas. Before. Yeah, so it's actually been officially a year where this has been my only job, which has been really nice. Um, and so I do really try to take Sundays and Mondays as my day um, to spend with my guys at home. My husband travels for work. Um, and so we're getting a lot of FaceTime right now. Um, but I wanted to be able to enjoy them more. Unfortunately, you know, you just don't know what you don't are missing until you stop and slow down for a minute. And then you're like, holy smokes, this is all passing me by very, very quickly. Yeah. And I want these years back. So I yeah. wanted to have that chance and to bring a small business to Pueblo. I love Pueblo. Um, we moved here. Well, we had intended to stay for five years and it's been over 20 years now. So we fell in love with the community and are awful excited to be part of it. That's great. That's amazing. I love our little town too. I was born and raised here. So it's okay. got a special place in my heart. I'm always trying to say, we love Pueblo. Come down here. We have a, you know, our cost of living's great. We have all these little stores. We have the river walk. There's all these amazing things to do. So tell me what is unique about your business that maybe is not typical in other little boutiques. So give me something that specifically, I would say unique to you. So we focus primarily on handmade or local items. So um, the majority of our store is locally made. Um, our soaps are all um, through Six Mile Soap, which is Jill Townsend here. Um, our pottery is through Laura Lester. Um, our teas come from Colorado Springs. Our felting kits come from the Felted Dog. Um, I make the gnome kits. So we try to focus on small batch unique items that you can't find anywhere else. Um, if we do carry a non-local person, we make sure um, that we know who we're interacting. We tend to lean toward women-owned businesses yeah. um, in our state um, and buy from them first. That's great. That's amazing because we're both uh, women-owned businesses. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's terrific. So how many employees do you currently have? Me. Just me. <laughs> You're the one man show. You are busy, girl. Yes. Uh, my son gets to work in the summer here at the store a little bit. Um, but he he'll be 17 um in July, so he's ready to not have to work at a women's boutique anymore. <laughs> you should make him your delivery driver. I you know, know, he needs time in the car. Yes. <laughs> Gotta put on those hours. Yeah. That would be great. So what are your business hours? So I'm doing deliveries on sun, or Saturday and Wednesday. Saturday and Wednesday. And then when the store is truly open, we're here Wednesday through Saturday, 10 until 6. So when we get to go back to our store hours, it's Wednesday through Saturday, 10 until 6. But great. Um, right now we're only able to do the deliveries. And it sounds like you're working every day right now because they're just no. Instagramming you. <laughs> What shop in my basement to get things made for folks, but um, yeah, that's it's, amazing. It's fun. Good for you, that's terrific. So, what can we do as a community to help support you? 
Perfect. Thanks for asking, Jamie. So shopping local, um, I'll ship anywhere as well. So if you do have someone who lives out of the area that you know, um, even just needs a little mental health break, always doing a craft is a great idea. So happy to send those out um, to folks. Um, let me know if I can deliver a birthday gift to someone for them. I don't have to deliver to your home. I could deliver to your friend's home as well. Um, but just keeping us top of mind um, that local hasn't gone away. Um, we're still here. We're still working um, and we still need your business. Um, shopping online with us is perfect. And even buying a gift card right now goes a long way. We do sell e-cards um, online. And so you're able to make a purchase at the store um, and redeem it later when you can see the merchandise in person. Sure. And I'm sure you would probably give a little video tour of the off or of your space if somebody called in and just okay. wanted to kind of get an idea of what you had. My husband would have to rely on you <laughs> to tell, <laughs> tell him what I need for my birthday because um, he's great at jewelry. So that's the one he buys me jewelry all the time and he buys really nice jewelry. So he's really good at that. I mean, I love it. You're local. You, you buy local. You're delivering. I'm sure you'd probably wrap those gifts if somebody needed it wrapped, if it was a birthday yeah, present. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to order the gnomes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't well, perfect. wait. I'd be happy to deliver the gnomes. Yeah. Um, and we have more coming. I just, yesterday was working on a unicorn addition to a gnome. So if you have an existing gnome, you'll be able to buy a little band and it's got the gnome horn and little ears and little uh, rosettes on it. So you can add it to your gnome, which has been fun. Um, just trying to think of new ideas to keep you know, top of mind for people. But it, thank you, Jamie. I appreciate the um, talking to you. Um, it's so amazing when you can see other businesses supporting local business, and especially women-owned businesses. Sometimes okay. it can get a little catty, and so it's always fun to see that we all have to build each other up. So I appreciate your help. You're welcome, Lisa. Well, we'll definitely come in and have a, a team event there. We always like to do our team building <laughs> together. So I think that'll be great. We'll, we'll come down and visit you. And then in the meantime, I'm going to order a couple gnomes and have them sent to my grandkids. So I, uh, I'm excited and, and thank you. And if there's anything we can do to ever help you, just reach out to us. Okay. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, Melissa. Have a great day. And we Thanks for watching. If you want to see more local businesses highlighted, just give us a follow on our page and see what's coming next. Thanks for watching.